Hello friends, welcome. So in this session you are going to see the very basics of image processing, especially how to display an image. So we are starting it with very simple program. You are just going to learn how to display it, with how to show an image. But before that, let me ask you something. What is image processing? Image processing is nothing but you are going to do analysis and manipulation of a digitalized image. In analysis, you are going to analyze it, you are going to extract some useful information from it, uh, which can be used in the real world. Um, and in manipulation, you are going to um, do some manipulations or changes in the image so that you can inc uh, improve its quality. So this image processing is used in many, many fields, so it will be of very great importance uh, to how, uh, so that we can learn how to do image processing using Spider. Uh, that is, it involves the usage of Python programming, a simple programming language. If you know the basics of Python, you can do very well in this Spider. And now let's get started. So what am I doing? Uh, wait, I know tell you something, right? So how how do you get this Spider? You just have to uh, uh, install your uh, Anaconda Navigator, and you get Spider. So you just have to launch Spider so that you can get access to it. And you can see, now I'll explain you the code, how I've written this. Import numpy as np, import cv2, these two lines, it tells me that I have to import my library files. So that is, that's what it tells. And the next line, img is equal to cv2 dot im read of something. So uh, that is the command, the im read, cv2 dot im read is the command to read a file. So what I've given is uh, uh, c colon users and that's the location of my image and now you can see nishi.jpg that's the name of my image and jpg is the file extension as you can see there are lots of file extensions like jpg png and you just have to specify which one yours currently right now so this is my location and this is the name of it and why have I used r um, I'll tell you it soon let's see what happens when I'm not including this r fine and come out what I've written here is cv2 dot im read unchanged which which tells me that I have to take my image in its original form uh, right now my image is in its RGB form that is RGB refers to red green and blue uh, so usually a color image it's it's made up of three different arrays one is R one is G and one is blue which stands for red green and blue and then in this line, cv2 dot im show is the command. Im show is the command used to show my image, that is display my image. Uh, this is the variable which I have used to uh, read, or which I used to store my image. And now I have to use that variable in order to display it. And this one, which is inside the semi uh, single quotes image, which is inside the semi uh, single code, it tells me that I have to give that label to the image which I'm going to display. And then you have to end with cv 2wakey key. You can even use after this cv 2 destroy all windows. And now we'll see how this works. Let me give. Uh, so you just have to save it. I've already saved it. And then you have to run it. So see, uh, there's an error here. It shows me a syntax error and tells me that it's a Unicode error, right? So uh, do you remember I have I've taken the R away? So that's what it tells. You have to include the R, which is the R string, which is uh, included before the original location. So you have to include this. And now let me see if it runs successfully or not. Uh, let's, let me hope for the best. Let it run properly. <laughs> yeah, of course, I got it. Ah, uh, but this is not the image which I want. It's kind of zoomed in. Um, I want to see the full image, but it's a bit zoomed. So in order to solve this problem, you just have to resize your image and then show it. That could help you solve this problem easily. So in the next session, let me tell you how to resize an image and then show it. So that you could see the whole image properly, right? So see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.